What's going on, people? So I got a pair of shoes in here. For a second, I was confused. Like, is this the right pair? Let me try to have these in the right order. But yeah, these right here. Things are things are looking good. I will say this. This is the fifth video that I've recorded today. Well, maybe like not tenth or something if you want to count on feet videos and whatnot. I've had like the worst of headaches like for the bulk of the day. I was thinking maybe it'll get better as I start doing this stuff. If not, it's going to get worse. Hopefully better. No, it's been getting worse. So luckily I'm almost done with this because I am trying to be like off of this camera thing and do something else. So we're going to do this one pretty quickly, which is good because there happens to not be a whole lot to talk about either. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. This right here is the Saucony Pro Grid Omni 9 in some kind of cream type of colorway. I honestly don't remember what the thing was. Does it say on there? Mm, not really. Yeah, cream and green, I guess. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty close, I guess. This is a newer model to me, right? But again, there's not a whole lot to say about it because it's just going to be a lot of like mesh and sway, so it should be pretty quick and painless. We're going to start this thing with the bottom, though. Down there, what you're looking at, it's a pretty decent little outsole, minus all the dirt for me walking around doing all feats in these a minute ago. But either way, so I like it, even though it's pretty plain, it's just kind of decent look, I guess. Moving on up here to the midsole, same sort of thing going on there. Nothing amazing, but it looks like things that I know to be comfortable, so it kind of gives me like a warm, fuzzy feeling that these are probably going to be pretty alright too. Spoiler alert, they, they are. They are super alright, actually. But either way, let's go ahead and slip some more pictures in here so you can kind of see these. And you can see what I'm getting at where I say, yeah, it's mostly just going to be a lot of mesh and a lot of suede. Very similar to other shoes. So if you've seen a lot of things that look like this, you're probably going to have a similar experience. At least that's how I felt going into it. And that's how it actually worked out. So there's that. But I'll give you a couple pictures or whatever in here just so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So you got a lot of mesh down in the front area, like I was saying, very breathable, good stuff. Moving on to the side, you know, same sort of thing. You're going to have mesh and some suede and whatnot. And then that loops around all the way to the back piece. So a lot of what's going on back there is really just what you saw everywhere else, just slightly different layout, right? And then even looking in like the lacing area, like with the laces there behind that, the tongue's going to be super meshy, which I do really like a whole lot because again, these look like they could be a bulkiest shoe, but they feel pretty lightweight, honestly. A little bottom heavy in some ways, but that's just because like that's where all the weight is. The rest of it is like very lightweight mesh and such. So you got that happening. And then on the inside, it's pretty plain down in there. Saucony and all that with a similar, similar colored sock liner and whatnot. One thing that I do like about the sock liner, and this is something that I don't normally talk about because it normally doesn't mean anything, at least not to me, but this type of sock liner, because of what material they use, as opposed to things like on some Air Max 90s that come to mind, they seem to be pretty resistant to like little bits of your socks or whatever, like sticking to the side of it. Or either that or I'm just like wearing the right socks, but I feel like this is like that standard material that doesn't do that. So that's a nice plus, right? And it just is a cool color, so hopefully it stays that way. But either way, that's going to be mostly it as far as like the visual component of this shoe. To me, the biggest thing to know about these would probably be like the midsole, but I didn't look into all that stuff because I honestly just forgot until right now. But I would be curious to know like what's going into there because again, they're pretty nice comfort wise. But we'll come back to that in a minute. For now, let's just knock out some personal thoughts, things, and then we'll move on a little bit from there. Personally, right? As I've kind of alluded to based on things I've said in the last like couple minutes here, these things are really nice like i saw them on the lapstone and hammer email that they sent and said hey you should buy these and i was like yeah you're probably right but then i looked on the saucony page later just to make sure they were in stock somewhere else and wasn't special and they weren't so I'm like, okay it's a general release maybe i can just wait out a sale or something like that but then i saw like some 10 or 20 percent discount code taking them off from like the thing 150 160 is the actual price of these i figured that's good enough. I'm not going to wait for like a clearance sale. This is just like a please buy something from our site sale and that's good enough. So I picked these up and when I got them in hand, I was like, wow, these look pretty cool. But how are they going to feel? More on that later. But all in all, just looking at them in person and in hand and like the 
material wise, I was like, this is this is a winner for sure. And I like the colors and stuff here. They looked like they looked on the internet. Things are looking up for this pair, right? So I was I was content with the purchase, and I hadn't even put them on yet. So I'm not trying to like oversell these or whatever. But if you happen to see these in a color you like, it's definitely something to consider, right? And one thing before we go getting on to like the sizing, I had almost not bought these because when I was looking at them, I was trying to remember what my gel NYCs looked like because I was just looking on my email and on my phone or something. And I was like, I feel like these might be similar colors. Not, not exactly. Like it's a similar layout if you look at these things here. A lot of what's going on with the NYC is kind of going on here with the Omni 9. But it's different enough that I'm okay with it. And honestly, even if these were the same color style or whatever, I still would have bought both of them. I'm not going to sit here and act like it wouldn't have happened. Because again, it's nice to have options. So either way, I do like that. But now, let's move on. We're going to knock out this whole sizing thing. And then I'm going to... Well, and then i got to talk about some action figure stuff, which is usually a good time. But yeah, sizing stuff. Let's get that out of the way. I bought these in a 9.5, right? And the reason I did that is because all of my shoes that I generally buy seem to work out pretty fine in that color. Or excuse me, in that size, right? And these, no different. I put them on and they fit exactly like one would want them to. So I was pretty happy about that, you know, because you never know. It's a, it's a brand new model. It could fit any way that they want them to fit. But I will just leave it at that because I feel like that's pretty much enough to say. Now the comfort, though, walking around in these, these feel really good. And that's why I was saying I'm curious what's going on with like the Miz sole and stuff. But they kind of make me think of like the like the Kiano 14s or these gel NYCs, even like the Yeezy 500, I guess, you know, if you get the right sizing or whatever. So it's not like the most comfortable thing that I've ever worn. And I'm going to brag about it to all my friends. But this is something that I could see as a solid choice for like an all day wear. If you're going to go out and do some errands, maybe going to go to an amusement park for the day or you're like out at a festival or something whatever you're going to do if it involves being on your feet for a long period of time and you want your feet to stay cool because again they have a super breathable upper this is definitely something to consider right so the one thing that i like i was saying before about the upper and stuff you saw that it's super meshy all around so that's kind of what i'm getting at like if you need some breathability for your feet this is going to be a good one to have especially since again we're getting into at least a lot of the world is getting into like the warmer months of the year so for that reason that's kind of why something like this in my eyes would be good to have i don't know what the color selection is like or whatever so maybe you might want to get like a more summer friendly color perhaps but just as far as wearing them the execution of it and all that good stuff that part i can't look down on so sizing wise nine and a half true to size that worked for me might work for you Comfort wise, super good, very nice, and breathability, always a plus. So there you go. I don't know what else to, sell, to tell you about these. You can ask some questions if you have some questions. I might have some answers, but I don't have any guarantees on that, none at all. For me to you, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. What's next? Oh yeah, action figure stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Later, people.